In previous video I cut the first three holes for the fans and the power. <coughs> and now uh, finally from deepest darkest china my smaller connects has arrived. Um, the whole box full of them. Uh, these are all the five pin uh, one and a half mil I think they were one and a half mil connectors um, for all the steppers. So I'm going to lay out for the first five along here, like that, and then uh, another three here for e-stop and uh, various other connectors. So first thing to do is measure the hole. Um, I think it was 20 mil, but better to be safe than sorry. Um, yep, yeah, just a. Uh, Nat's whisker under 20 mil and screw holes about three mil. So we have There's about 260 mil to play with. So, oh, so I'm just gonna. Oh, I'll open a few to see how they lay out. So that looks about, about right, and that's, yeah, if I, if I put them 20 mil apart, so start the first one 20 mil in, and then these are 29mm, I lay them out like that, then should have quite a nice pattern. No, that's bad. Um, the problem with this layout, uh, one, two, three, four, five, that would put the connector pretty much in line with the um, frame that holds up the power supply. So they're gonna have to be spaced a, a bit more closely together than that. Um, so there's no problem with that. That's Clearly going to clear that. Yeah, the, foot, the footprint of the fan is exactly as drawn, so that's not an issue. Um, right, I'll do them on with one centimetre between them. That looks okay. Yeah, looks all right. I'm just going to 
buffer this up. Just, just double check that I'm in the right ballpark. Yeah. So the uh, I'll bring you around to show you later. This uh, this connector is yeah, it's a little closer. It's a little bit closer to the side of the power supply than I'd like, um, but it's. Oh. But it will do. So this this is the edge of the power supply. So we've got a good couple of centimeters there. Not perfect, but. Good enough. So as I want the I want them all in a line vertically so I'll just quickly take those lines up. So there's the five stepper connectors and then we've got a good bit to play with here so I'll give that 20. And then we don't want to cut those, that would be bad. Um, I forget exactly how many we need actually. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those. No. Seven five pins and two four pins, uh, but I th think it only requires five five pins and two four pins. But I might be wrong. I can't remember exactly how many. I'll lay out. For, I'll lay out for all of them, and then we'll we'll come back to that later. So got to find the centre points now. Next. It should be just a matter of putting a cross in. So I've laid, I've laid out these three as well because I'm going to send to punch them. Um, in, in the future, if I fit any more connectors, then that's where they'll go. So I might as well send to punch it now, save so trying to find them later. Right, so there we go, they're all laid out. Now time for uh, a lot of drilling. So I've just drilled the first hole using the hole saw and thankfully the uh, reseated chuck didn't come loose. Um, I used a 22mm hole saw um, because the next, the only other size I've got in this sort of area is 19mm. Now 19mm is a little bit on the tight side um, 
but uh, unfortunately it seems 22 mil is uh, well, a bit on the big side. Um, I did sort of expect it. It's because uh, hole saws uh, don't tend to drill anywhere near the, their their actual size. But as you can see, so you could drive a bus through the edge of through the size of that. You could drive a bus through the the uh, gaps around the edge of that. Um, I marked on the holes for the mounting pins uh, or uh, bolts, so I have got just about enough material there uh, to put some three mil holes in. But that one's going to be a bit tight. Um, I'm not well. I'll probably just put a washer on or something just to, to hold it in place. That's um, step number five, so it won't actually be used really. Um, well, certainly not to like extend the machine. Um, I'm going to give it another go now with a 19 mil uh, hole saw. I think the 19 mil will probably give me a hole that's pretty much spot on the right size. Uh, so I've, I've already done a few of the holes. Um, I'll just quickly show you the way I'm doing these. It's, uh, basically, if you pin, if you pin the piece of steel with the tip of the drill bit, then you can clamp it into place, and you know that the hole saw will then be exactly in the centre, and you'll you'll get much less movement, much cleaner hole. Don't force the, the hole saw; just let the hole saw cut down through. You'll keep the hole much closer to the actual range of the saw. Because this stick is about as hard as putty, you always get a really good burr over there. So I'll just take this over to the uh, bench and I'll get rid of that before drilling the next hole. So I've given uh, this hole uh, a quick going over with a file just to get rid of uh, the burrs off the back here. And as you can see, I've got a nice hole there, maybe a uh, mil and a half. Uh, maybe two mil of play around the edge and um, spot on right for getting them nicely lined up. So they, there you can see the burr. It's almost too big to be a burr. It's practically an extra piece of metal being added on. Um, that's got to be taken off with a file before I can drill the next hole because um, it interferes with the, the piece sitting on the on the drill press. Um, I suppose I could use a, a piece of wood underneath it, drill down into that, which would probably help, but I can't be bothered to, to find out a piece of wood and, and I'd need a new piece for each whatever. Right? So just run it around with a file and get rid of that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I only have two files at the moment. This one, which is about one incher, um, doesn't really go in the hole, and this tiny little thing. Um, so I start it off with this tiny little file. By sheer luck, once I've got rid of most of the burr, I can uh, get the end uh, of this file in. You see the problem with using this is because the radius of this is uh, so small compared to the whole line uh, cutting it or, or filing it actually cuts down into it so um, leaving well, almost like small saw marks in it. So you need a, a file with a radius that's much closer to the size of the hole you're filing to give you a nice smooth edge. So there we go, 
go, the first five holes, uh, vaguely in a line. Um, I've got another four, I've been and looked up the uh, circuit diagram, I need another four holes. Um, so, because uh, I've got the uh, e-stop, um, the limits, uh, the XY setup, and spindle. So there we go, <clears throat> nine holes, all drilled, deburred, and ready for the mounting holes, um, which will be three and a half mil. So uh, I'm going to clean up the construction lines now because I don't really need them anymore. They're, uh, and most of them are rubbed away anyhow. Right, now it's just a matter of putting these things. What I will do is try and get a straight line across the bottom. Right, so that line gives me something to line these up with. And I will set them so they just overlap that line. And then mark the four points I'm going to drill. Of course you could transfer punch them but blimey, you'd be there all week. Much faster to do it that way. There you go. A whole rack of holes to be drilled.